Jennifer here, back with another edition of Movie Talk. This week's movie is one that is about one of my favorite superhero teams, and that movie is The Fantastic Four. After encountering a cos cosmic cloud in space while attempting research, Four friends become unlikely superheroes and must learn to control their newfound powers to defeat an enemy who is has sworn to get revenge on them. Okay, highlights of the movie. This movie was made back in 2005, so it's about, um, it's about 18 years old, and is a superhero film based on the comics the um, Fantastic Four comics by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And it is the origin story of Doctor Doom and the Fantastic Four. Okay, things I liked about this movie. There was actually a lot I liked about this movie. I love the effects, because obviously Fantastic Four, there's going to be a lot of effects in it, um, from Mr. Fantastic's um, stretching abilities to... The Invisible Woman's um, invisibility and invisible force fields to the Human Torch's um, fire abilities. Um, so I really liked that. Um, I love. I really like the special effects. Um, I like the costumes. They did a very good job of portraying the um, Fantastic Four uniform in this movie, especially considering it was a live-action movie, and the costume they did for Ben Grimm when he becomes the Thing was amazing as well, and of course Dr. Doom's costume, um, so I liked that. I, I liked the storyline, and the thing with the Fantastic Four is that it's a very unique storyline. They are family, um, with the exception of Ben Grimm, but he's kind of like one of those, um, they're family because Sue and Johnny are brother and sister, and then Reed Mary Sue, so the three of them are, are family. And then Ben's kind of, Ben is Reed's best friend, and he's kind of like that best friend who's like a brother um, to Reed. So they're all family. And what I like about this, and they mentioned this in um, the Marvel um, exhibit tour at... Greenfield Village, oh, two, three years ago. Um, the Fantastic Four was really, it was the first superhero teen, team comic where they were like a family. So you would see them argue and you would see them like not get along and whatnot. And it's portrayed really well here. Um, and um, you see Johnny picking on... But, well, not really picking on, but teasing Ben, messing with Ben, which is what he did. Well, I've never really read the comics, but I'm assuming it's what he did in the comics and what he does in the TV shows. He's always messing with Ben um, and whatnot. And you see that there. Um, you see a lot of what was in the comics in and in the TV shows in this movie, and it's just... Amazing how the actors were able, to, particularly the actors playing the four heroes, um, were able to play off each other in a way that the characters had to play off each other. And I absolutely love that. I remember watching it with my um, my parents and my dad just um, laughing at the um, end scene where they're just they just started living together and Johnny's messing with Ben. He did the whole thing where he put like whipped cream or shaving cream in the hand in somebody's hand when they're sleeping and use the feather to try and get them to swat at it and he eventually does it at the end my dad just starts laughing well he doesn't laugh but you can see uh, but he did crack a smile and um because he he liked the thing you knew it was coming but you didn't expect it to come and whatnot so uh, it, it is one it, it was a it was just it's a great movie there's so many great scenes in here in this movie, um, I like the I like the scene where they're doing the big fight with Doctor Doom, and I don't think I have to I don't think it's much of a spoiler to say that they're fighting Doctor Doom because he that's their main enemy 
And um, Ben basically says, I gotta borrow your car, ladies. And the one lady said, well, the, the, um, the gear shift sticks or something. And he's like, it's not gonna be a problem. He just swings the car and hits um, Dr. Doom with it. And it's just so amazing. And the follow-up movie, um, Rise of the Silver Surfer, which I will do a review on, I promise, at some point. Um, it just carries on with that. It's just so good. But we'll get into the Rise of the Silver Surfer when we get to that movie, I promise. Okay, cast. This movie had a pretty good cast of actors. I only focused on six. Um, obviously, the Fantastic Four and Dr. Doom. And then Ben's girlfriend, Alicia, because she's kind of an important character within the Fantastic Four universe.
before I sign off a few things I'd like to touch on. First off, a quick reminder on my comment rules. Number one, no mean comments. Number two, no bad or curse words in comments. Number three, I'm not opposed to debates, but please keep it civil. And finally, be respectful to me and each other. Okay, please keep in mind that in, if my comment rules are continually violated, I will start posting my videos as made for kids, which will disable the comment section. Okay, please leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. Uh, feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. I do have my name for those four sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video do belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. And the link for any site mentioned in this video will be in the description section. Okay, YouTube subscribers. Any of my videos that cannot be found on YouTube are on my Facebook page. Facebook friends, basically the same deal. Any of my videos that cannot be found on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. And to anyone who's interested, you can feel free to check out my Facebook group, Fanfic Corner. Please like and share if you're watching on Facebook or like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a very nice day.